In this problem, we're told a student slides her 80 kilogram desk across the level floor of her dormitory room a distance of four meters at a constant speed. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the desk and the floor is 0.4. How much work did she do? So in this problem, we're gonna be solving for work. And so keep in mind what work is measured in, it's measured in joules. And so the formula for work, work is equal to force times distance times the cosine of theta. So if we wanna solve for this, we need to know the force, we need to know the distance, and we need to know the, uh, the cosine of theta. So uh, keep in mind the force we're gonna be dealing with in this problem is the force of friction. And we can tell that because they give us um, the coefficient of kinetic friction. So we have some force of friction going this way. And so basically the force uh, and when we solve for the work is gonna be the force of friction. So we wanna find this, we need to know the force of friction. So that's the first thing we're gonna actually do. So the formula for the force of friction is mu sub k, or the coefficient of kinetic friction, times the normal force. So keep in mind, they do give us the, um, kinetic co uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction 0.4. So we just need to find the normal force now. So to calculate the normal force, we have to look at the y direction. And we only have one force acting down, which is the force of gravity, so mg. And then we have the normal force going up. So we know that basically the normal force is just going to be equal to mg in this case, right? Because the sum of the forces in the y equals zero. So that just means fn minus mg, because mg is going down, equals zero, and fn equals mg. So really you should just know that though. But yeah, so fn is going to be equal to mg. So this is mg. So if we solve it, it's 0.4 times the mass, which we know is 80 kilograms. They give us that times g. And so that's the acceleration due to gravity. I'm going to use 9.81. So this is the force of friction here. And I'm just going to leave it in this form when we solve. So now we have the force of friction, so we can plug it in. So work equals 0.4 times 80 times 9.81. And then we multiply by d. So d is the distance the object travels. In this case, we move it 4 meters. So it's going to be 4. And then we have to multiply by the cosine of theta. Keep in mind, uh, though, what theta is. It's the angle between the force and the direction it goes. So since they're on the same thing, the angle between them is actually zero. So uh, yeah, it's, well, really it would be 180 because it's in the opposite direction. But in this case, they are just asking for the positive value of it. So you would do 180 and then this would be negative. But yeah, essentially this is just going to cancel out. You don't need to worry about it. But uh, yeah, you're just going to do 0.4 times 80 times 9.81 times 4. And then this would be cosine of zero, but it's 180. But you're just going to take the magnitude essentially. So uh, you can just ignore this. So just do this. And you're going to find that it equals 1255.68 and then joules. Uh, in this problem, they round for their answer. So it's one point, or 1260 joules, which is equal to 1.26 kilojoules. And yeah, if we look at our options here, we can see that's A. So your answer to this problem is going to be A. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.